Oh, because medyo yung ano namin would be medyo, uh, it might be, uh, uh, sabihin nyo, you can answer or you can not answer uh, okay. Because we will really ask hard questions. So, there are really issues about uh, having a lot of Marcoses here in Ilocos Norte. How do you think it is helping the the, the Ilocos Norte? And ano yung sa tingin mo naman na medyo nakaka ang disadvantage of having a lot of Marcoses? I guess, I guess I cannot answer for the disadvantage because that's... I mean, very the name alone, I don't mm-hmm. think I can say that. Mm-hmm. But in reality, I mean, um, I see a man that all of us who are in office are very responsive to the people's needs and whatever issues that they're going through. So, um, whether it be an advantage or disadvantage, I would think it would be an advantage because it's like And it's not like we're doing bad things. <laughs> we're, we're, I mean, you can see what's happened in the office. You can see the progress even when we didn't have the admin on our side. We're still, working, we're still, still keeping on the value. So uh, I don't think there, uh, I don't think it should be an issue. That's, uh, that's my personal opinion. Uh, <laughs> follow-up question about uh, what do you think about political dynasty? Uh, again, um, I don't see anything wrong if things are working. If, if things are working, if, if, if um, jobs are provided, you can see them by the system. The statistics of the province that it's really quite um, uh, well managed, <laughs> well taken care of. Yeah. Amang. Uh, hindi naman dingin sa ating kalaman na talagang si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos ay eh, talagang binabatikos po ngayon ng todo. Uh, paano po yung tiyatanggap ng mga kababayan niya, pati ng pamilya niyo po? Well, um, ako po minsan, as part of the family, parang talagang nakakapigod, lalo na yung mga iba na nalang pag-asampot sa pati. Oops, sorry. Normal, <laughs> normal. Um, but, um, really, uh, you know, he had his he has a different style eh? from what we're used to. Diba? Yung isa, uh, yung what we're used to kasi kaagad, reactionary kaagad. Ang ating president, chill lang siya, but may ginagawa. Diba? May nangyayari, may ginagawa, and his, uh, uh, whatever he's doing will speak for itself. Diba? Like, uh, all these things, binabating ko sa palaging maalis. Well, that's what we're what we need right now. Eh. <laughs> we need uh, ayo ayo naman natin yung para ayuda. Diba? What we want are investments. Yes. It's exactly. investments to have progress in our country. Ma pala question. Ay mga sasabi ko kritis kritisis mo kay Pangulong Bongbong. Nakikita niyo bang baka pwede ito makaapekto sa inyo ni Governor Matthew na gamitin ng mga kalaban niyo sa inyo sa susunod na alalan? Uh, I don't see why it should be. I mean, ilang buwan pa lang. Wala pa namang isang taon, di ba? Mag- mag-iisang taon pa lang sa May. Eh, syempre, ang umpisa, disadvantage na eh. Kami in something worldwide, parang knockdown lahat yung open do. So, he's really coming in from a disadvantage, but, uh, you know, it's only been several months, it's not been a year. And he has five years, and I think that, I mean, he, he's gearing already for all the years. Ano ma'am, sa inyo ma'am, sa inyo po ni, ni Governor Macho. What, why will it be? I, yung, I think yung, it, yung, would, yung... it would only affect in a positive way. Ah, yeah. you know, it would only affect in a positive way. Yeah. Um, away naman po tayo no, sa, na, yung pinagadaanan ni First Lady ngayon sa mga, uh, mga controversial and pilit na pinapasama po yung ano, Araneta. No, ngayon, ang question ko po is, at kamusta po kaya ngayon ang relasyon ng pamilya Marcos at Araneta? Kasi nalaman ko na halos parang isa na lang din pala kayo. So, 
Tapos sa loob po ng pamilya ninyo, paano nyo po hinahandle na parang yung araneta ngayon ang pinipilit na maging masama? Um, I guess, ewan ko lang, ano, siguro may ano talaga, the people are trying to look for things, no? Uh, or I don't even know if I should say that it comes from the territory, but we never expected something like that. I mean, I mean for me, it's, it, these parang are spoken and spoken like facts. Ma'am, wala po ba sila plano? I have no. I am not privy to it. But ako. My question is, most of the criticisms, especially from the opposition, has been that the victory of President Marcos and the Marcos brand, the victory of the Marcos brand, is a product of fake news. But the Marcos brand, in itself, is in fact the most attacked and most victimized when it comes to fake news, fake ver version of history, or at least a uh, version of history with many blind spots and blind sides. Now, um, what do you think is the way that people in, in, in power and position, kayo, because para, I think it comes with a, with a part of your responsibility to be able to address these, especially since the mga natahan are going around heavy, heavy rotation around the world, spreading these kinds of issues about the situation. Okay. Um, I guess, you know, para one of the things that, that stuck in my mind uh, was that film, um, about Antonio There was a discussion there that they would always say, we always put that in And what did you do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what did you do? Can, can we not, can we not uh, all get along? <laughs> can we not all get along for the sake of the country? Give it a break for a while, because it's like, I mean, we always have to criticize, right? You know, they'll say constructive, there's nothing constructive about that. So, follow up now. Connected to your answer and connected to the issue. Because one of the calls that was made during the campaign was the offer you, which means to transcend political norms. To embrace even those that hurt you the most. It's not that we have to be in any issues with the people, because they are well, really welcoming and able to forget the mga all of those that hurt them in the past. Um, pero kasi most of the supporters, my guests, and the Ilocanos are very possessive of the brand. Gusto nila talaga. Marcos lang din ang mga dama ng sabihin. What would you say to these people who are not yet willing to connect na rin naman doon sa kanila natin ang parang who are not willing to accept na ito na parang we work together collectively as a nation. What's your message? You know, I guess my message should be we've tried all the other things. We haven't try to be able to get our men to submit to authority and try it. It might work eh. Kasi lahat na lahat, ano, contra, contra. What do you mean? Okay, fine, meron kang contra, pero saan na nila? Saan na natin? Okay. Ano lang, kasi, Kasi parang at this point, kasi parang after the pandemic, di ba, parang it really shut us down. I mean, my gosh, for me, that's really God's hand na saying, Hoy, ano kayo, mas ako ang power to I am in control, not you. You know, so thinking on that light, can we not just change our, our point of vista for a while to look at 
our country, to look at the betterment of our country, to look at the, the progress in our country. Una, bago mag-ano. Oh, this is the thing. Eh, ano pala eh? Huwag mo pala ng pwedo pala. Diba? Ako talaga, there was a time na wala pang, na, uh, wala pang 100 days. Ang dami dami days na sa akin. Related to that, uh, ma'am, Ah, uh, kasi the Araneta are like one now with the Marcoses. Hindi kayo uh, kilala namin ang mga Marcoses na very tolerant, very patient. Lumaki sila na uh, sobrang ganit, sobrang ano, tolerant sa mga bashing kahit nagsisigawan na sila. And now, hindi kayo lumaki na na, na experience niyo tong mga to. Ah, uh, itong mga to. How are you and Ma'am Lisa are going na uh, hindi naman kayo sanay sa ganito? Uh, talaga. I mean, but I uh, didn't sign up for it. <laughs> you know, eh, ako talaga na trust lang talaga ako dito kasi mga tayo yung husband ko. But uh, other than that, I really never thought in my wildest dream na dito ako papasok sa akin. Uh, but uh, having said that, talaga, uh, even Lisa talaga, she is a, her forte is organization. That's really her forte talaga. Uh, everything would be smooth, you know. Uh, and uh, but she would not naman meddle in decision making. She really is just the structure, paano yung flow, paano yung ganon. So I think she's really being maligned, and I think it's to the point of sorry to say, para there has to stop. I mean, no matter what, she's still our first lady. Yes. Uh, I guess, nakalimutan na kasi natin kung paano okay. karoon ng first lady. Yeah. 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 Most of our yeah. last 19 years ago. Oh, so, oh, so talaga is. parang anything that... Ramos pa yun. Not all of them are dutiful. Yeah, and, 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 and parang, <laughs> parang yeah. ano na kagad, criticized ka agad. So, um, for me, the first lady supplements and complements what the husband is. And she does a very good job. She's a lawyer by profession. She's a professor. You know, and she loves talaga. She loves to teach. And dito, niya siya nag-ano. At pati yung alaga na is from first year of law till the fourth year, ang gamatak makatapos ng bar. She really sees, she goes with it. So I mean, my gosh, yes. I mean, such dedication. So that's been her even before she became first lady. So why should she change? Uh, oh, yes. e e even that bigger mm -hmm. but you know, people are always criticizing. Actually, with just less than a day here in, in Ilocos Norte, nakita ko that very hands-on siya. The, the idea about the the museum yes. is BDMs. Pero yes. yung pag-organize and everything, pag-fund, mm -hmm. uh, yung sa livelihood, everything yes. is Lisa Marcos. Yes. And maraming maraming pa mga charity events, mm -hmm. re really about Lisa Marcos. Yes. So, I'm sure, sabi mo nga, kung pwede lang na pagsasampalin and everything. <laughs> and for sure, uh, um, First Lady Lisa is a very, very fierce lady. Uh, ano siya sabi sa inyo? BBM. Pa. Alam mo, uh, I remember before. For sure, minsan, inaano ka yung campaign. Kinakompo. 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 So mad kasi yung sinasabi ko. Ano yung sinasabi ko. Tapos sabi ko, relax. No, it's okay. It can all work out. Diba ka na siya? Kasi, I guess he's really just confident with his truth. He's confident with the things that he's doing, and he's confident that uh, history will always just be working out. Mm -hmm. History will just show exactly their happiness. And do you still have a for the past seven and yeah, yeah. decades? I mean, uh, okay, if like let's say that we didn't want to see President Marcos was really a rotten guy, how could we have had such problems? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's what even during the campaign, you can really see that the whole country still had that. I mean, that's why they have the third one, right? I mean, um, what? Uh, sorry to say, but whatever ends up was, it's all going to be. So, yeah.
Now, are you hoping that Marcos, kahit pa ba, na si Vivian, eh, uh, maging medyo mas matapang? O are you just... Alam mo, um, I don't like uh, parang dapat, dapat, dapat. <laughs> Yung sarili, kahit iba kapag kumakanta ng sarili ka. Yes, yes. Rendition. Oo, gano'n. Nagkukulot-kulot, di ba? But, um, so, like with me, he has his way of delivering. He's really just a cool guy. And you yes. are supporting at that even if it's painful? Well, pain produces results. <laughs> Pain is a good teacher. Oh, it's a good thing. So, guys, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. But I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go because, you know, our nation is an uh, uh, agricultural nation, so most of our you know, are farmers. So it really just shows where his heart is, and he wants to see, because uh, he wants to see um, changes happen if, if it's not him that says it, hindi lang mag-cascade sa papayang ka. Kasi, siyempre, yung work ka. Kasi, di ba? So, he's not only the secretary, he's the best of time. That's why, I feel he really has a vision for what, how the agricultural sector should be. Just like as it was. Kasi, tayo yung pinaka-top before, di ba? As I've stated in the previous question, the Marcos family are very, very tough. And this is one reason why I cannot understand why people are saying, and even the Duterte is saying, na weak leader si Bibian. Because a tough leader is not a weak leader. Diba? They can tolerate. They can, I am a DDS. And uh, I really understand the, the game of, of Duterte. Uh, you, who's, who, uh, who really have more time to know BBM. Ano pa ang ibang qualities ni BBM na pwede mong sabihin po sa amin na he is really not a weak leader? Um, let me just, ano no? Uh, Duterte was really good for a time that he was president. He really made a lot of changes. And for that, I'm really grateful for that. No matter how much criticism a lot of, you know, but he got things done. Straightened a lot, out a lot of things. Now, iba ang style niya ni Bongo, iba ang style niya. Pero like, I was able to to witness it, no? Because I I was able to join them to on sa basic official visit niya sa Japan. And ang kanta kanta na reception niya, lalo na mga OFW natin doon, talagang din, you know. And you can see kasi that, uh, I don't know if it's just my bias, <laughs> but when he speaks, he has a stature, he has voice, he makes sense, he has program, he has vision, and he, he has goals that are slowly being accomplished. I mean, it's not an easy feat to be in all those billions of dollars in as investments. Sabi nga niya, kahit na isa lang doon will come in, it will really be worth everything else. Alam naman natin ng mga nakaraang buwan na yung may mga sinasabi ng mga official ng AFTA at natampuraw. Tapos ito mga kritiko ni Pangulong Bongbong pinagsisigawan nila Plan B aware po ba dyan si Pang Plan B patagsikin po siya aware po ba dyan si President at uh, ano po bang sa loob niya dyan pag nag-usap kayo ng pamilya po well um, I'm sure he's very much aware of that sinseryoso po ba dyan sinseryoso po ba dyan ano niya is really is 
how it work together. Eh? I mean, even from the start, the Kaloya is teamwork, unity, teamwork. So, and you can see naman from this cabinet of okay, naman. I mean, there are some who was very identified with the yellow group. Yes. So, ang uh, sinasabi niya na, naging totoo na sinasabi niya, nung pagkanala niya, wala na mga kulay nila. Whatever is good for the country, yun ang gagawin. Of course, there were, there were some, of course, hiccups along the way, but I don't think we can ever uh, discount that or we can ever uh, be without that. Because you can learn her, right? Because you can learn her, right?